What is up lads? Welcome back to the channel and look, I'm honoured, I'm honoured to say that I'm going to be collabing with the main man himself. This is Pez Royalty and now eFootball Royalty and also one of my closest friends in the eFootball slash Pez community. It is Pezep, you'll see him on your screen there now. Sep, what's up man? Thanks for taking the time to do another tier list video here with me. Honoured to be here man. Um... Glad to do another collaboration with yourself. Uh, remember, I was inspired by you starting everything with Pez, so. Yeah, man. But I mean, you, you're kind of inspiring me now to get back on the content grind. I see you on Twitch. I will leave links to all your stuff in the channel below. I mean, Sep is Sep is the, is, is the mastermind, I think, for a lot of the, the stuff that like people have started to kind of focus on now, you know, tactics, formations, and obviously it's rolled off on me a little bit as well that we kind of do that. I'm still not at his level of, I'm kind of like Arteta to Pep, uh, to Pep Guardiola <laughs> with me and Sepp in terms of the information. So yeah. I think uh, it's good to see like general content. It's no longer about ah load up the game, play matches or just stream matches. It's kind of spreading out this whole manager hype, if you call it, or the tactical side of things like more more like content on YouTube or even live stream kind of getting into what we call it pesology or footballology so it's it's nice to see like a lot of people kind of inspired by this type of content whether they say it or mm. not it's it's good to see yeah. so we do have a we do have the 70 legends right now this does not feature any epics any big time they're going to come in a separate video we're kind of building up towards that featured players but these legends are kind of a good base of card if you have got any of the free legends and where they kind of rank in compared to, you know, the likes of the upper tier, like GOAT ones, like Romario maybe, um, you know, and uh, Roberto Carlos and all those, right? So we, des we decided that we're going to do this kind of just legends so there will be a couple of epics missing in here um you will have a couple of big time cards that are super overpowered like you know Cannavaro, Tommy Asu because they're obviously you know Tommy Asu isn't a legend so yeah um yeah comparing him to the rest of the keepers we probably have to put him into the average category to start us off I would and say then... so because you know height seems to be the most effective thing and then ability when it comes to your football yeah and look i've given i've given given pardon the pun a, a fair yeah. crack uh, yeah. on my road to glory account and he just doesn't do it for me at all so it doesn't um, it's difficult we, because the level they go and oh, these guys i would say are probably a mix between average sep i mean i don't know where you'd put lizarazu um is there any of those that you would put in average i I'll think just drag these up because we have yeah because we have dennis erwin i would put lizarazu average because dennis erwin with the right training could be way more effective than lizarazu in terms of yeah. how things work in the game because let's be yeah. honest we're not playing master league or flying to china you know let full bags overlap in every single match most of the matches you cannot afford to let your full bags overlap you need somebody with yeah. defensive offensive skill not just offense yeah no i agree what about nakata because he's been somebody that i would be tempted to put him into good but I'm not I would sure. put him in good. Yeah, I would put him in good. Yeah. I mean, if I remember, he does have through passing, which is essential for an attacking mm -hmm. midfielder. I understand most people don't like creative playmakers because everybody just yeah. want their AMF, every player to make a direct run. That's part of the meta. But I personally do not review everything based on uh, like, you know, OP or trash. Like I would like to leave a middle ground because in football, you can make a player like call it effective, especially when a flick pass, it's effective in a way like drug by effect. Yeah. So I would say not to rate it 100% based on meta. Not everybody is good meta and not everybody used meta. So I would say Mdakata is good in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. He was a beast yeah. for me when I... I mean, his out. latest card, I would put him into amazing, to be honest. The latest card, yeah. like the most... Uh, yeah. I think is epic. But that's one. the thing with a lot of these cards. Like these legend cards, I think are kind of... It is good to kind of like put them under the spotlight because as a legend card, comparing them to the epic version, like yeah. there is no real comparison between Vieira legend versus Vieira big time or yeah. like Cannavaro um, big time or any of the big times really because of the levels that they can be trained to. You know, these guys Pretty are much, all yeah. kind of maxed out at like what, 15, 16 levels for yeah. even most of them. So uh, in terms of Demi Runner, the game is right now, the transition between attack and defense is too fast and you yeah. almost can take advantage of a dummy run but it does work so i would put him in good category really like generally speaking yeah yeah, yeah. well I i'm gonna put collar into amazing yeah i don't know you're gonna argue with me on that now i, I think at the this. moment no, no no hear me out i mean if you have two nice if you got two decent dribblers fast flanks with collar 
then Kohler is effective. But if you use Kohler with the other two wingers who are not fast or good passing or good dribbling, then that would be unfair on Kohler. So I would say, especially with the flick pass right now, it's being very effective. We see it on Football Pro as well. I would say it's effective. I would say it's amazing personally. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Now, look, if I was doing this by myself, I'd probably have, have a goat uh, category on him, but yeah. it's very personal to me. You know, it's it's kind of like you with Tati, who we'll get to in a while, but Indeed. it's it's kind of, we're trying to give a fair, balanced, unbiased opinion here. So if you put, call it amazing, well, Carl Hines, uh, spoiler alert, definitely goat in terms of what we have here. So, mm -hmm. and then going back to, we've got York and we got Andy Cole. Those two guys are fast, offensive, could have decent finishing, both lack balance. One of them's a better dribbler, which is Dwayne York. So yeah. I would say, considering the other strikers we have in the game, I would say hmm, both of them in uh amazing, I would say, because we're comparing to no other players. Like imagine yeah. these are all the strikers you have on your football. I'd probably I'd probably put him I'd probably put him amazing. I yeah. played with him a lot on my road to glory. Yeah. Um we will see towards the end like we can do a final review at at, yeah. at the end of the video and see look is there anyone we change. Because I'd say he's uh, better than the rest of the three we put in amazing right now. Yeah. In terms of what yeah, works in the probably, game. He's probably top of the amazing chart. I would like say there. so yeah. He's probably number one in the amazing rank yeah. at the moment. I would put Nakamura on average. I know it's like almost a crime to put Nakamura on average but <laughs> I have to be fair in terms of what works in the game, you know, like yeah. what's effective in the game. And this is based yeah. on that, not based on real life. And I would yeah. put him there. In terms of um, Rosiski, I think I've used his Epic card, which I'm not going to compare it to that. I would I would say good, to be honest. Because yeah. we're, we're yeah, talking like about if that's all the legends you have, you want to make a squad build who would you pick this is like yeah the top 50 of them uh zamorano yeah, said, there's no comparison between like you're comparing like messi to you know raziki or you're comparing like big time Cannavaro to like you know whoever like lizarazu on the left or something like it, there's yeah. no time there's no comparison but it's just for these players so i do think people will probably have a lot of talking points about that Indeed. um i think inzaghi is the best super sub among all of them so i would put him at amazing mm -hmm purely for that reason in terms of he's, he's yeah. a rare out of all of them again he's kind of player with high awareness high uh finishing uh could be, be reasonably fast depending on how you train him with acceleration but for the tapping mm. you know I, I think it reflects based on real life a lot when it comes to, i know gilberto silva is an anchor man so yeah. considering who we have are the rest of the legend gilberto silva stands out for the most um like this is your like your main DMF, like your main yeah. Kante, if, we, if he wasn't box to box. So yeah. I would put that into amazing, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, Agree. considering like a holding defensive midfielder when he stays back, he's the best out of the bunch. Yeah. What about Petit? Uh, Petit, I'm, I mean, I'm not even happy with his epic card, never mind this one. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would put. I would put average, good, like more towards average, but then. Where Batty, where would Batty would stand if um, if you put Petit average? I would say Petit is better than Batty in a way, but then yeah. Batty's an anchor man, so it depends on the playing style. I don't know. For me, I'll go. I'm, I'm leaving that thumbs to you, down. man. Between good and average, I'm gonna, put, yeah. th I'm gonna put thumbs down on the two of these. Yeah, I'll just put them there one, for now. We have to we have to fill out this tier a little bit. I don't yeah. want to leave it empty, yeah. um, because it looks it looks terrible. But <laughs> yeah, he's not like like OP hole player. I would just put him among good since we got Nakata there as well. So yeah. in terms of a little bit more direct runs, can do better runs yeah. than Nakata. So I would say good. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, Freddie Youngberg? <clears throat> ah. I've used I've used this card. I've used the epic one. He's just a fast guy, really, and yeah. it's it's difficult to make him being good running with and like running with the ball or slow dribbling. But he's just that he's just that fast guy you want to put on when the team is pressing you. Yeah, I, I like would, players I, where I can I slow down. Put him thumbs down, Sep. I I would because I've tried them so much. You know me. Like I use players like it doesn't matter how bad they are. I like to use different players, and I've used them for over hundred games. I trained them for like several different ways um, consistently. Yeah. Like it did the past week until I finally did kind of release them. I was like, right, I've had enough with this guy. I'd probably say that Cliver for me would be thumbs down, and I would also say that Elbert and Van der Vaart would probably be all thumbs down. But I don't know. I'm 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 open to changing any of those three if you have any. 
any changes to him, but I would probably leave him there yeah. just to kind of switch it up. Let's just switch up to go from top to bottom, right? So we'll do maybe okay. five or six top class players because I do want to get our first GOAT. I'm going to let you pick the first GOAT in the category. Um, it can't be Totty because I know that you're going to be biased towards... No, again, of course, of course. Okay, I mean... Totty, but let me, yeah. let me know who your favorite legend is on... Give me your favorite two legends on this to pop them in to GOAT category. It's a very different thing. Like, I'm not a meta player, so my favorite is yeah. very different from OP in the game. If yeah. it was for my favorite, it would say, obviously, Francesco Totti, and then mm -hmm. I would go for Beckham. Yeah. But if it's like, if I pick... Do you want me to pick top two? The yeah, just GOAT. pick your two favorite, any two. It can be Totti, it can be Beckham. Pick your, your favorite two GOATs to go into the category. I oh, mean, Beckham right, okay. would probably be one if you... If you oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I picked that one as my personal favorite. But again, that wouldn't okay. be fair because we're talking about GOAT that is effective in the game. That would be more yeah. accurate, Kena. The yeah. view for the people as well. Um, well, listen, I have Collar in Amazing, and I think that's yeah. a bit of a biased choice. So we'll have to... At, at this that. point, yeah, I would say so. I think we're going to get bashed for that one for sure. <laughs> Especially those people who kind of hate crossing, but, uh, you know, we're not going to go there. Um, I would say 100% Romario has to be the number one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have no it's just He's just a game changer. Talk about Romario. Yeah. That added, it, just... It's almost an insult if you review him. So, Romario, full yeah. stop. And then I would go with um, choices, choices. There are, there are several, man. There are several. Patrick Vieira. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're two of the most, probably. Probably the two best players in the game. Top, Indeed. definitely top five. Yeah. I would say, yeah? yeah. I mean, obviously the epic times are better, but yeah, um, yeah, I can have no. And this is kind of a mixed positioning there. for goat and like the tier. Usually, sometimes you could go like goat strikers only or goat average. Uh, I yeah. like this. This is kind of a top fifty is a bit, you know, not the traditional way, which I like it. Yeah, way. yeah. Yeah. It's gonna mix of all. Um, for my for my two, I'm gonna put. And again, I'm trying to stay who works in the game like what works in yeah. the game for my two probably that i would put into the goats i would probably put carlos in okay um now i know he's he's a liability going forward but i just think his free kicks his overall play his engine his stamina um i just love everything about carlos now i know yeah. he's more of a kind of controversial choice i think dan romario or Vieira, because yeah. carlos is hot and cold i think um you know with with how you play how your formation plays in but i think playing a 352 you know swinging crosses in taking long shots i know that the meta at the moment doesn't really reward that Indeed. um but i do think he is like stat wise he's just insane to have in your squad um and i would also probably put in out of all these strikers i mean i can only talk about players that i've used and used a lot yeah and i would probably say that i would have to put in maldini as well yeah. um I know Beckenbauer is probably... I haven't used Beckenbauer enough, maybe compared to you, Sepp. I'm yeah. open to, to change that towards the end. But yeah, they'd be my two goats. Um, Romario and Vieira, definitely 100% agree with that. Yeah. Um, but I think Maldini, like, doesn't have the best stats. And sometimes you kind of look at him and it's like, oh, I mean, I should play Marquinhos here. I should play, you know, Beckenbauer here. But it's like, Maldini, I don't think he's ever made more than three mistakes for me in about a year of playing with him so I use him mainly as a center back or a left back yeah i'm playing him as a as a center back uh, of these six sep rivaldo okay. gerard scolds gascoigne deco and lampard give me of those six give me a quick fire rating for him um where to put him i think skulls definitely amazing that's okay. that's that's self um rivaldo pretty average considering the stamina and everything else even the epic version wasn't happy with him uh, Gerard, yeah. I would say, kind of between good and amazing. I'll leave that one to you. Yeah. Um, Gascoigne is cla so yeah. <laughs> Gascoigne is classic ten, but a lot of time classic ten helps in defense. But you know, the meta yeah. of the game is everybody make and run. That's why most people don't like classic ten. So I would mm -hmm. I would consider him good when it comes to Gascoigne and yeah. um, Lampard. Would say amazing. And to be honest, even now I face people using this card of Lampard and gives me a hard time man he's like okay. he's like somebody's Kante at the same time somebody's kaka so it does give i'm i'm judging it based on when i face him do you know what i mean yeah well that's yeah. it that's it's your it's your opinion i would probably pr throw deco into good as well yeah um and that would probably round off the attacking midfielders there i think that's fairly fair uh we can have a quick review at the end of it yeah um moving on to the next five i would say 
I'm tempted to put, right, Morientis. I've actually used Morientis quite a bit. Yeah. I'd be tempted to put him amazing, but I already have collar in amazing, so I'm going to stick Morientis in good because I like these tall target men type. Kind of elusive, kind of tap and strikers. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. And he is a tap in merchant. Like, he always gets on rebounds and stuff. Indeed. Have him in. Indeed. Um, I would probably put Parchi Sung as. Oh, man, it's a tough. I, I don't know what I put him average. Because he's very versatile, I would put him good, to be honest, because he could be yeah. your box-to-box, -box. he could be your left-back, yeah. he could be your side midfield in 3-5-2, so I would say good. Yeah, I mean, Arshavin, I'd probably put him in average. I think he has the same issue as the same issues as Rivaldo, is that the card yeah. is kind of disappointing. He's better me. than Lumberg, so definitely wouldn't give him a thumb down, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike alone, I think, would be between... I mean, he's in the same kind of category, really, as Romario... I don't think he's as good as Romario. I mean, maybe you'll know more. Uh, I Seth think would, um, would you put for me, push? yeah, this could be a personal preference, but I face a lot of people. I know people on top 10 using Michael Owen, their main guy. And I know mm -hmm. people also on top 50 who despise using a striker like him. And yeah. different <laughs> training, different personal preference, you know what I mean? Yeah. But let's just say this is mainly about the legends. I would say kind of between Goten Amazing, considering the rest of the strikers we've got, really. Yeah, because if I put Would it you put at him more uh, in line with like Andy Cole and York, and no, he's better. He's way better than those. So I think it would yeah. be fair to put him a goat.